What is up my rat is so you guys are never gonna see me like this again made a mistake and I shaved I always get these random ideas where I'm like, you know what need to shave uh, Regret it instantly But boy do I have stories to tell you and the first one is gonna be completely not related to the title So I'm gonna just include that in here really quick So if you don't want to listen to this then you can fast forward ahead. I'll put annotations down below But as you guys know, I was going to California to do this Team 10 thing and what a joke that was. So I'll show you guys little bits I have. I, I started out in the morning and I went, got everything packed the night before, got ready in the morning, went to drive off. Um, I must have been driving for at least 12 hours. So I was even close to my destination. Um, I was close to where I, I had a room booked. I had to go to that hotel and tell them that I would like to cancel it because of an asshole that did this to me. The way that I actually found out that it was fake is I, I got a, a message that said um, I needed my PayPal information. They needed to uh, collect $25 to be part of this and I would lose my chance if I didn't. Well, everyone knows, okay, well, why would I need to donate $25 to do something like this? It, it all smelled fishy. That solidified it. Go figure, I had to drive 12 hours to figure out that. It's great, uh, so much fun. So I didn't even record, I scrapped all my driving footage of it because I'm like, this is really depressing. I'm in a dual driving footage going to this place and not doing anything. So I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna. So I scrapped the footage, this is the story. Basically I just got scammed and uh, it's kind of crappy. Uh, it really took the winds out of my sails for my YouTube career. And I'm like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna take a break. I did take a little bit of a break, but I'm back. And this video is gonna be very controversial, I am sorry. Uh, you guys know that I love making videos. I love doing stuff that pushes my boundary, pushes my um, channel to the edge, and this is gonna probably be the the big factor, and this is probably gonna either affect my channel in a good way or a bad way. Is Matt Ferreira, or however you pronounce his name, from The Smoking Tire actually a dickhead? And you guys need to understand the, the background, so uh, let me turn this. Uh, 360 and go back on what I am talking about why I would even think this so I'm on Twitter I really 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 and you guys know this I've really wanted to have someone review my car it's not specifically for my benefit it's because it would be awesome for my channel but on top of that I would get the exposure from it but that is not my main goal I just would love for someone to tell me if they enjoy my car or not I want to hear from other people what their opinions are of my car um, in general, and it has nothing to do with me being narcissistic because I don't care if they like it or not. I just want to know because I really enjoy the car. I would love to see someone else enjoy the car uh, as much as me. Um, and it's really, it's really a neat car for a stage two um, vehicle for going from a, a car that only had 210 horsepower. It's like night and day difference because you have this 210 horsepower car. Not a lot of people look at it as like. A big deal that's not a lot of horsepower especially for nowadays now you you go to stage two which I did the big jump I didn't even go stage one to stage two I just did full stage two and my car is pushing 300 horsepower and 330 foot pound of torque that's nothing to scoff at for a tune um, so I, I naturally was like you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna post something on Twitter and see if I can actually get somebody uh, get someone to take notice of because I've talked before on Adam LZ's channel. I've tried to push um, him checking out my car. I, I've tried multiple outlets and it's really hard as a small YouTuber trying to find your way. And it, it's even harder when people don't want to give you the time of day, even though your intentions are good because people don't know your intentions are good, which I totally get. So what happens <laughs> is I make a post and I, I tag um, Adam LZ. TJ Hunt, and someone kept telling me to, to uh, tag uh, Matt Ferreira from The Smoking Tire. So I tagged The Smoking Tire. Now, give or take, I want to do this as full disclosure in case this isn't Matt on the, uh, the profile and this is fake. It could not, it could just as well not be him on the Twitter account because that's what I'm leaning more towards, but it still has 49,000 um, followers. So it makes you kind of think like, is this real or not? So when I posted the uh, tweet, he actually favorited it, the, the channel, Matt Ferreira. 
favorited my post. I was like, that's awesome. So I, I commented back. I was like, hey, I can't DM you because it's um, a bigger account. I think there's like limitations to that on Twitter. You have to like have a contact open to uh, DM them. And I was like, give me a, a DM. And the next day I, I see this. And you guys have to realize that this is disheartening because I really like this this uh, guy, the smoking tire. I'd always watch episodes. I don't know if I'm subscribed to the channel or not specifically because I watch all kinds of videos. I'm also not subscribed to TJ Hunt. I probably should subscribe to these channels, but I'm so used to just constantly watching them and I'll constantly get their recommended uh, to watch new videos. It's almost like pointless on the new YouTube uh, format is, but in the same sense, I, I should support them. Uh, and I always watched the smoking tire. I'd always watch when they'd get cool builds and stuff. And they did, Matt specifically did two uh, Mach 6 GLIs. The 20, is pre-2013 and a half where the, the, they put the new Gen 3 engines in the M MQB uh, platform in. Yeah, a lot of people have said that it's, it's, it feels different. The different engines feel different in the way that I thought, well, maybe he would actually care to try it out. Apparently not at all. Um, and you guys have to remember, this is coming from someone that likes the channel and you don't expect someone to say this to you. He posts kind of like a meme and it, it is it exact from what I said. My post was when I posted on Twitter, uh, any YouTubers that want to review, uh, here's the 2016 stage two GLI next day. He, he posts a meme he takes from someone, he replies to someone that already posts something about, it had to do with people um, saying stuff uh, on their posts and then people commenting something completely different. Uh, I tag him in this and it has nothing to do, I didn't even know this at the time, he posts this, which says, hey, everyone send some love uh, for my cat who is sick. Uh, internet. Hey, you want to re review my uh, stage one Jetta? Now, obviously that's going to tick anyone off. My Jetta is a GLI, but everyone always, you get the same thing. Oh, a Golf isn't really a GTI, it's just a Golf, yada, yada. Obviously there's differences, you pay for the differences and everyone knows that, but everyone likes to belittle everyone and everyone likes to hate on everyone. Um, and I responded back with this and I don't know word for word. I said something along the lines of, but isn't that what you, isn't that what you do is review cars. I'm just wondering, I'm sorry about your cat though. I have lost two dogs to cancer and it sucks. It's like losing a family member, which is true. It sucks. And I, I nowhere on his profile did he say something about losing a cat. I wasn't even following him on uh, Twitter at the time. So how was I supposed to know that if this is his like real account, like how am I supposed to know that your cat's sick? I just tagged you in a, a random comment on my channel. But besides that, and then he goes, point is there's a time and a place for everything, especially with a car as lame as that. Which really is saying something because if this is true, this dude does car reviews for a living. He reviews every single car, whether it's fast, slow, in the middle, it's reviewing a car. So regardless, if you cared enough to make channels about cars and you're passionate about cars, you don't say cars are lame. Obviously you have opinions on certain cars, but dude, you did two reviews on cars exactly like mine with the, the Gen 1 instead of the Gen 3 engine that mine has. And it's literally the same thing. The one car didn't even have as much horsepower and torque as mine. So that, that's what I'm not getting. He reviews stock cars. They had, and I went on to check this, on the smoking tire, they literally have a review of a 2006 Honda Accord V6. So what, now all of a sudden my car is underneath that? It's underneath a, a Honda Accord a V6. That's what I don't get, Volkswagen Group makes and it, a lot of people don't know this it, it's kind of surprising if people are into cars but volkswagen group that makes volkswagen also makes audi lamborghini porsche and bugatti so they make some of the fastest cars in the world the ironic thing is if you look at the new lamborghinis they have the exact same gas pedal as what's in my gli which is just like a kind of like a that's pretty that's pretty dope 
uh, that they you can see little things with that. And obviously, I'm not comparing my car to a Lamborghini. I went down on his channel, and it's not just to me. I, I wouldn't make this video if it was just directed at me. He uh, comments on a, a channel that's recently growing some popularity called uh, Tar Tarvish. I think that's how you pronounce his name. And I did get a top comment on his video about um, him kind of like lacking the funds, it seems like, to continue the build. But obviously, it's a Lamborghini. Parts are expensive and stuff. I'm sure he's trying to rack up. And I understand that wholeheartedly. I don't see anything wrong with what he's doing. He, it's, he has the balls to attempt it. That, that's great. If he can uh, complete it, I will give him props. And I think that what he's doing is great. Well, Matt didn't think so. He comments and says something horrendous about, I'll have to make sure to take a screenshot of it too, basically saying that he, uh, his channel is the definition of auto mechanic misogynism, which is basically like getting sexual pleasure or people getting this like, this pleasure from watching people fail. And obviously related stuff and people are getting the, the, the sexual pleasure, the pleasure of watching this guy fail, which is really, it's not cool because it's like, so many people put their heart and soul into the videos and stuff. And if this is the real guy, he's a, he's a dickhead. I'm gonna say that for 100%. If this is the real account, Matt Ferreira, you're a fucking dickhead. Because if you can go around and try to shit on people's uh, work that they do that easily, uh, when you retired, you just retired, um, I don't see the point in that. You you literally were on YouTube reviewing cars. You wholeheartedly are giving people uh, reviews on cars. You're doing what you're passionate about, but you can shit on other people's projects. I really hope this is a troll. I really hope it's not him. Really, really hope it's not him. Because what a piece of shit. What a piece of shit on YouTube to be representing people um, in general as car enthusiasts and YouTubers uh, alike if you're gonna just shit on people, people's cars and builds in general, but yet what you did was reviewed cars and you took every car and you drove it and talked to people when you were so friendly on camera. What are you, just an asshole, a heartless asshole in real life because your, your cat is sick? I don't understand, like, I'm trying to understand and I know what it's like to have animals that are sick, but I never took it out on people and literally shit on their their uh, profile. And literally, if you look at his profile, it is just him shitting on other people. It's him commenting and saying, oh, I, I saw this happening. I saw this uh, a mile away, you failing at this and stuff. So I really, really hope it's a troll. Please comment down below if it's a troll. Give me some glimpse of hope that the guy that I actually look up to and watch videos of, of him doing car reviews and stuff isn't an actual dickhead, isn't actually an asshole that treats people like this. Please give me some glimpse of hope because that's like finding out that your your favorite YouTuber, that's like finding out PewDiePie or something is a serial killer. It's fucked up. I don't understand it. I had to I had to rant about this. You guys love my story time videos. I don't do them unless they're wholeheartedly the truth. You'll see on my Twitter if you go on my Twitter that I posted about it. I've called them out. Um, so yeah, I think this is ridiculous. Uh, what a old grumpy man, if this is true, if it's not completely utter and utterly forget what I said, I don't mean it, but I'm saying this strictly from what I'm viewing. Matt, if this isn't you, I am wholeheartedly sorry. I apologize and I do not mean this, but if this is you and you're shitting on people uh, that have the heart and soul to do it, and Tarvish even responded back to you, um, that's that's cold, man. That's that's really screwed up, and you don't even deserve to have views that you have. Uh, so I hope you stay in retirement if that is the truth. I love you guys. Make sure to be happy, stress less. I am going to pump out a lot of videos this week. I actually ordered rims for the GLI, which you guys aren't going to know of, but um, my Instagram that I keep a secret actually know about it. So um, I'm getting rims, getting um, coilovers next week, and I am also looking at buying an IS-20 instead of an IS-38 off of a guy so I can run a JB4 tune that will directly uh, plug and play with my car. Um, so big things are coming as normal. Um, I'm also looking at a project car, probably going to try to find out a way to make that work because I'm tired of pushing off stuff to try to keep little tidbits of money here and there when I need to focus on what matters to me. And it's making YouTube videos and making you guys happy. And 
driving 12 hours and then turning around and driving another 12 hours uh, back home made me realize that. So um, <laughs> I love you guys. Hope you enjoy this video. I'm gonna put some time into editing it and making it look good. Um, make sure to be happy, stress less, and I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys.